While on this channel we have been reporting news about Tesla Giga factories in Berlin, Giga Texas and Giga Shanghai, GM's own Giga factory, Ultium battery factory is really sprouting up in Ohio and taking good shape. Recently GM showed some images which you are seeing on your screens and this story is based on Zachary Shahan's story in Clean Technica showing how things are going at GM's Giga Factories building at GM's Ultium Battery Factory. Welcome back friends. This is Armen Haryan from TorqueNews.com. It's always hard to tell what level of vision and enthusiasm for electric vehicles the top executives of Lex legacy automakers actually hold in their hands and hearts. They are trained to put out positive PR and they may do that one day regarding some electric vehicle plans while also having lobbyists in Washington DC at the same time trying to corrupt fuel economy regulations and they sometimes do it successfully. However, putting cash money into a big electric vehicle battery factory is a very good sign demonstrating of an actual vision and commitment. And GM seems to be doing that with its Ultium Giga Factory, Ultium Battery Factory. When you think of a US automaker building a large electric vehicle uh, battery factory, there is a certain one company that ends to come to mind. That's Tesla, right? But it's worth remembering that GM is doing this as well now. And the company proudly showed off some pictures recently from the Ultium Battery site yes, um, in order to remind people of its progress on electric uh, car future. And and cheer on its employees and contractors. GM formed a joint venture with LG Chem earlier this year, Ultium Sales LLC. GM CEO Mary Barra was also on hand to push the point home, which was summarized in bright letters on stage as our electric future is now. This is a huge opportunity for us, the biggest opportunity any of us has ever seen for this company, certainly, Mark Royce said, you know, the GM executive. Getting to the batteries, Lauren McDonald reported for us that GM's new Ultium batteries, which were designed in Michigan, will use large format uh, parge style cells that can be stuck vertically on or horizontally inside the battery pack of electric cars. The flexible and modular format enables GM to put 24 modules with vertically stacked cells in the electric Hummer or 6, 8, 10 or 12 modules with horizontally stacked cells into a, its low profile Cadillac, uh, maybe Cadillac Lyric, Buick and Chevrolet crossovers. The batteries currently powering the Chevy Bolt cost $145 per kilowatt hour, while the new Ultium batteries produced under joint venture with LG Chem will drive battery cells cost below $100 per kilowatt hours. This is probably the biggest news, friends, from that, okay? Right now, the batteries are cost $145 per kilowatt hour that you drive in Chevy Bolt, but they're going to be below $100 per kilowatt hour. But Clean Technica says by 2025. I don't know why, why they say by 2025. Apparently, it's by 2025, but we hope that GM can achieve this cost much faster because when you look at the progress of electric car battery, price per cost per, per kilowatt hour in the past 10 years, they have come down from $1,000 to $145 per kilowatt hour. So why would it take five years to go from $145 to below $100? $100 per kilowatt hour is the parity between gas cars and electric cars. If the um, humanity achieves $100 per kilo, less than $100 cost per kilowatt hour. That means making electric cars will be less economically, um, uh, more profitable than making gas cars. The cell use, the cells in GM's Ultium battery use a proprietary low cobalt chemistry and GM expects that ongoing technological and manufacturing breakthroughs will drive costs even lower in the coming years. I've st started raising concerns about battery pricing trends due to concerns 
concerns I'm hearing from the experts in the mining industries that underlie the battery industry, says Zachary. But let's hope GM has its plans in order and its supply chain secured. To scale up to deliver 1 million electric vehicles annually, the supply chain for batteries, including both the minerals and cell productions, are critical. GM will be heavily focused on transitioning to an NMCA, nickel, manganese, cobalt, aluminum chemistry from NMC, with a goal to reduce the use of cobalt by 70%. A greater use of aluminum is the key to reduce the reliance on cobalt. With a tenfold increase in demand for batteries, GM is looking to source as many minerals such as nickel and lithium as possible from North America. End of the quote. It's unclear still where the company intends to get large volumes of nickel and lithium from North America, but this is a matter I'll keep exploring with various experts from around the industry in coming weeks and we'll see what GM itself can share. And also, but in the meantime, you see that Tesla is making contracts here and there, left and right, and even in Congo to get minerals, even in Australia, to get minerals for its batteries. Where GM is going to get in North America, I personally don't know but like I said we will keep an eye on this and see what GM says regarding the battery factory being constructed in Ohio the ultimate battery factory let's call it the GM's battery gigafactory at the moment annual battery production capacity is supposed to initially be 30 gigawatt hours which is similar to Tesla gigafactories uh, once initial plans 35 gigawatt hour and perhaps also, its production capacity at the moment, Panasonic's battery cell production rate at the end of 2019 at the plant was reported to 30 gigawatt hours. Now, quoting extensively from Lauren again, when GM reached its goals of 1 million electric vehicles produced annually by 2021, uh, 2025, that equates to the manufacturing of 250 million battery cells per year. The modular propulsion system and global electric vehicle platform powered by the Ultium batteries will enable GM to produce vehicles for every segment of the market, including entry-level cars, work trucks, and high-performance sports cars. Key specific specifications on the GM's Ultium batteries and powertrains include the following. Energy options ranging from 50 to 200 kilowatt hours. EVs, electric vehicles with an estimated range up to 400 miles or more on a full charge. Most GM electric vehicle car models will have 400 volt battery packs and up to 200 kilowatt fast charging capacity. Vehicles built on GM's track platform will have 800 volt battery packs and 350 kilowatt fast charging capacity. 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration as low as 3 seconds in GM's upcoming electric cars. Designed for a level 2 and DC fast charging these batteries, Ultium batteries. Motors designed in-house will support front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, and performance all-wheel drive applications. Initial vehicles using the initial GM vehicles using the Ultium batteries will be the Hummer EV from GMC, a new model called the Cadillac Lyric that will be revealed virtually next week, uh, actually just uh, in a day or two. Two new Buick models that will be sold in both China, where Buick is quite popular, and North America, a, a mid-size Chevrolet crossover that shares the same platform as those Buicks, and updated Chevy Bolt and Chevy Bolt EUV, which um, will be the first non-Cadillac to get Super Cruise. GM confirmed this week that the production plans for the Hummer, EV, and Lyric are still on track. More than 1,100 jobs are expected to be produced in Northeast Ohio for the GM Ultium battery factory. In these times of low economic activity and opportunity, that must be especially appreciated in those communities. Hopefully, that will bring an appreciation of the electric vehicle and broader clean tech transition and the electric vehicles GM eventually produces around those Ultium battery cells. 
Well, friends, let me know what you think about GM's plans. Um, in the comments uh, that I've seen in discussion boards about GM's uh, battery plans, electric future plans, uh, I've seen a lot of comments, people saying it's enough to give us promises. Let us see something serious. Let us see something uh, actual. Let us see new cars, electric cars coming from GM. But I think, like I said in the beginning, if GM is putting this much cash money, creating 1,100 jobs, creating batteries, um, that means GM must be really serious this time huh? with its futures. And don't forget GM brought the Chevy uh, Volt, which I liked uh, very much. Chevy Volt is a great car, great electric car. And now Cadillac Lyric uh, will be uh, will be uh, uh, unveiled on August 6th in a few days. Uh, Hummer EV uh, uh, unveiling is on track. So uh, a lot of serious things are coming from GM. And I think in the next five, six years, if we see these things are coming from GM and Volkswagen and Mercedes, their electric cars, this is going to be serious, um, serious um, competition to Tesla. What are your thoughts on this, friends? Let me know, please, in the comment section below. And in the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video to show your appreciation of Zachary Shahan and Clean Technica. You can see the, the, the link to his article in the description of this video. And I'll see you in our next report. God bless you and take good care of each other. See you soon, friends.